Hi there, it's Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back to my channel. Oh dear, <laughs> coughing a bit. Um, just wanted to show you what just popped through the door. Well, I think it did today. Well, today's Sunday, and I actually found this uh, on my doorstep this morning when I when I sort of went out the front door. Um, whoever was the company that delivered it had left it on my step. They hadn't actually knocked on the door or rung the doorbell and you know obviously i wasn't aware it was there until i just went out the door and it was sat there i've unpacked it but this is what it is so what i'll do is i'll show you what it is and uh, we'll get over to the bench and have a look so i'm a member of the airfix club and uh, this year's gift boxes have just arrived and uh, we'll pop it open have a look and uh, see what's in here it's actually really quite good I'm quite impressed with this one so, that's the invoice so there's uh, if you know air fix kits you get uh, flying hours so there's a flying hours passport stay there top God, top's fighting me back look stay right okay so there's a, a flight what uh, anyway, let's I'll tell you what, let's do it that way. There you go. Uh, right, so there's the obligatory passport to collect your flying hours tokens. There's a couple of airfix stickers, which is quite cool. There's a limited edition kit, which is the Gloucester Meteor FR9. Um, never really got into jets that much, but that one looks pretty cool. So I might have a we'll have a look at that one in a minute. There's a, a nice key ring. Please remove before assembly. Handy if, if that's what you if you want one. And there's a really neat little badge, pin badge thing, which uh, I might put on my jacket or something. And also there is a nice post that put on your wall keep calm and build airfix and then the letter to the members explaining what what you get and the membership actually entitles you to 10% discount of all airfix kits bought via their website you get exclusive products there's club magazine there's an annual wall calendar which in fact I've got on the wall already and there's members only experiences in, and competitions and stuff so really good uh, so let's have a look at the model because that's that's the really interesting thing all this stuff I bet I won't be able to fold the box up now anyway there's the model nice box it's still sealed so let's have a let's break the sellotape seal thing it could be sellotape other sticky tapes are available um, right so it's a Gloucester Meteor FR9 in 170 second scale according to the box there's two markings one's for a number 8 squadron Royal Air Force Charger in the Trucial States, January 1958, and this one here is a FR9 uh, Esk Combat number 2111 from Furza Aurea Equatoriana Tora Air Force Base, Ecuador 1973. I'm sorry if I've mispronounced any of that, but yeah, my Spanish isn't that good, or Portuguese, whatever it is and there's uh, a couple of colour schemes there on the side of the box and uh, this is skill level 2 and it's a, a unique kit only available to club members unless you go online because some auction sites people do so some members do sell these off so it comes in typical airfix box big batch of sprues in there in one sealed bag 
yep, in one sealed bag, and a set of instructions. Um, so let's have a look at the instructions first of all. There should be some decals in there as well. So I'll move that out of the way. Oh yeah, there we go. So there's the Airfix decals. Pretty typical Airfix style. They give you a set of common decals. They're all sectioned off on the decal sheet. And then you've got the the sort of unique ones for the particular model you're building. So there's that one there, which is uh, option B, and then that lot here, which is option A. Um, but yeah, there's some. This is one seventy second scale, and there's loads and loads of absolutely tiny little decals. So whether or not you put all of those on is entirely up to you. So. Let me just alter the camera a bit and we'll come back a bit and get get the instructions in full. Well I did say I was going to have a look at the, uh, straight into the instructions but actually what I'll do is we'll have a look at the parts. So I've taken the parts out of the bag. So let's have a look at the first sprue. And the first sprue is, we call it this, frame C. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder who... <laughs> who moulds this but uh, anyway um, pretty good details on there obviously relatively new tooling there's no flash or anything like that nice details here on the on the uh, ejector seat details I don't know if they'll they'll come up at all should be able to see, see that but yeah pretty good details there and the floor of the cockpit there and front of the the jet engines there which will come up really nice that'll, that'll come up nice with a, a bit of dry brushing or a wash so that's that's that part that's frame c according to them um, this is frame d and again more details um, more details on the in, internals they're very good detail in there um, excellent stuff nice uh, instrument console there don't know whether or not the decal will sit on that but it should do that looked really nice when that if that's um, if that goes down well um, yep yeah, really nice oh there's a pilot over there let's have a look at the pilot see if uh, we can get that to yeah, my camera's not that great. Um, obviously, the issue with the uh, one seventy second pilot is some of the moulding is uh, a little bit soft, um, but I think it it will paint up really quite well. Um, yeah, with a bit of you know piece of. Uh, you know neat painting maybe a wash or something over it will come out really really well um, some of these parts really finely molded um, I wonder who's doing this molding I'll have to have a look at the box um, back with you in a second Right, Hornby, made in India. Okay, okay. So whoever is doing the moulding, quite nice. Yeah, the missiles and stuff, and the nose cone with that part's just loosened away from the sprue, but there's no damage quite good fine panel lines on that I don't know if it will show up on my epoxy camera um, and the wings hmm interesting two options of wings I didn't see that maybe I missed it anyway it's not two options of wings it's the upper surfaces lower surfaces Bob come on wake up um, yeah Nice detailing in there. 
that's inside the wheel wells got the wheels down again nice little bit of a wash in there come up nicely and then finally this last sprue which they call frame which is frame a okay fair enough and then the internal framework of the wings and wheel wells again really fine detail on there and that'll come together really nicely i think nice molding though all in all ejector pin marks are in places that i don't think they'll be seen which is good there's your options of the four in fact it's two different options on the on the intakes on the jets and pretty good panel lines on the fuselage not too heavy um, nice details there like I say they're not too heavy um, and once you've got a coat of paint on there which obviously that fills the panel lines as well but yeah I think that I think this kit will go together quite well so as I said let's go and have a look at the instructions you know, back pedal a bit because I did say having a look at the instructions um, just had a, a look at the clear parts clear parts have moulded up really well I won't take them out of the bag um, but I can't see any real distortion there they could quite good quite good um, really nice um, yeah yeah really nice so they're good as well so let's go and have a look at the instructions so the instructions are typical airfix instructions now typical of what they do now which is i think their new instructions is really good um it's a staple a4 folded um almost like a, almost like a little booklet but um i think it's a lot better than you know if, if all you've known is the old airfix sort of fold out instructions brilliant this is absolutely brilliant so this is uh the 172 gloucester meteor fr9 um if you've seen the airfix kits before of the gloucester meteor they're the f8 if i remember rightly um so obviously this is a different mark the fr9 i don't know a lot about the gloucester meteor um so the the post war F8 variants of the Meteor were fitted with um, uh, new engines and stuff um, but the, I don't know what the um, according to the instructions here and the, the information here it says that uh, the F8 was also developed into the FR9 which was a photo reconnaissance variant which incorporated a single remote control camera in the nose this would replace the Spitfire and Mosquito as the RAF's foremost fighter reconnaissance aircraft. So that's the difference between this. Um, and th when we have a look at the, the nose on this particular model, you'll see um, how that is. But let's get into the instructions anyway. Um, it's got the two odd, I would say odd, um, um, <sighs> markings. That's the word I'm looking for. But anyway, let's have a look. Usual assembly instructions from, from Airfix here. And the normal sort of icons, the assembly icons that you get. This is pretty standard for most sort of kit manufacturers now. Really good, good idea though. So the first things first is, um, you know, the step is, is putting the cockpit together. Now, looking at the inside walls of this, th these on these diagrams, there's a lot of detail there. So I think that probably painting this before you assemble it has got to be the way to go. Um, whether it's a bit of wash or a bit of uh, dry brushing, you'll pick up all the details in there. It'd be really, really cool. Um, then putting the ejector seat together. Um, the ejector seat hit markings hit uh sorry uh paint detail there and there are decals to go on the side of the ejector seat and that's a really nice piece of detail 
again um, more paint schemes of the of the ejector seat itself and again fitting it into into the the cockpit area and adding extra parts into the nose i don't know what these parts are so you know i apologize um don't know much about jet aircraft to be fair um so anyway you're putting the yeah, putting the control column in and putting the the decals on the instrument panel and then there's the um almost it's like a gun sight there um at the front of the the um the aircraft it's photo reconnaissance so this that may well have been something to do with lining up the camera to take pictures i don't i don't know it could be that but we'll move on swiftly so the next page is getting into the nose detail here um, gives you an option wheels down wheels up which is good and and it always sort of um, always raise a question when they give you a kit with the nose up or oh, sorry with the wheels up and there's no pilot um, that really annoys me but I have noticed having gone through this that further on there is a pilot which is great but I, <laughs> I just wonder why I've got all this way through the kit and it's all the assembly here and the pilot appears right near the end um, I would have thought my humble opinion that you would have put the pilot in earlier on in the piece but I don't know I don't know anyway there you go there you go anyway so going back putting the putting the cockpit detail into one side of the fuselage and then um, weighting the nose is eight grams of weight needed to be added into the nose there I think <laughs> looking at the diagrams this is going to build up to be a really nice kit um, and if you've been watching my <laughs> my videos before you know you know I did say I wasn't going to buy any more kits to go in the stash this year um, as this is the airfix membership of the club scheme technically i haven't bought the kit so i think i can get round it there but anyway we'll see let's move on so fitting the two halves of the fuselage together and there's the option there if you've got the the wheels up of having the the nose door closed and then the various options there dependent on um, your build option whether it's a or b you know remember these you've got these two and on the box lid here it gives you a which is the RAF one and this one here which is the Ecuadorian one so dependent on which one you build that's your options for weapons or for tanks and the holes that you drill in, in the, into this wing and again there's there's two holes to be drilled there which is for the aircraft stand they tell you about there which is sold separately come on there fix come on you could throw in a a stand Kriker you used to I don't know um, you know that you used to get one of those little clear plastic anyway no, no, enough of that right so moving swiftly on putting this this part into there if you're doing wheels up and then the internal structure of of the wing there I like this idea of having that structure there to fix the wings together and then putting all of those together so that you can um, you know you've got that up um, one of the things to watch out for is this there's, there's a couple of little parts here that need to be filed off according to airfix so, moving swiftly on so putting we now start working on the actual jets themselves so you've got the internal part of the the, the jet there so this is going to need to be this area here on on that plate there is going to need to be um, detailed before you put this on 
and then this needs to be painted before you put it in there so it's quite a quite a complicated little build going on there um, anyway once you've got that into place you've got the front part there um, into the fr into the front of the jet um, and then putting the two halves or the, the upper surfaces onto the onto the wing assembly there um, there's another bracket to be put on there and then you can fit the fuselage and then you've got options on the control surfaces dependent on the on the selection you've made a or b and then they're fitted onto onto the wings down here so moving on you then you've then got the tail section of of the jet there and then the the front section the intake on the jets there so you and again options of what whatever one you're building um because you're two different types so and then after you've done that now tail section together and now we start moving into the nose section here putting this together into the nose section it almost looks like this is <laughs> this is something way complicated this is the nose wheel and on the very front of the nose you've got two apertures there obviously that's where the, the, the reconnaissance cameras were and uh, so you've got the glazing in there which is quite neat because you'll be able to see into the nose area don't know what you could see in there but it's there anyway um, and then put the nose on and then start on the wheels to go into the undercarriage so you've got the two the two wheels and in in the wing assembly there and then moving over the page once you've done the wheels in the wings with the various covers open or not obviously if you're doing it with the wheels up you possibly don't need to do this stuff here so that's a choice that you're going to make early on so if the wheels are down again you've got the various um, parts to go in with the nose wheel down now moving on to this option here this is option A putting the tanks on there's a central pod there I don't know if that's a tank but these look like um, tanks uh, like drop tanks or whatever I don't know what that is as I said I don't know enough about this aircraft to be sort of an expert on it but it's, it looks like it's going to go together really well um, and then you're fitting the air brakes in, into position either up or down which I think is a nice touch so moving on aerials to be fitted on the sides of the fuselage there and then what looks like possibly a navigation light to be fitted onto the, the underside of the fuselage there you then get onto the nose so there's a, a framework to go inside the canopy which is cool and then a bit more framework to go inside this rear the rear part of the canopy so this is the nose section and then that, that's the rear part of the canopy there's your there's your pilot and then the option is to either have the canopy closed or the canopy open obviously dependent on what, what how you're going to put this out um, then there's a <coughs> let's get this back into shop so if you put the pilot in it seems odd that the pilot goes in this late in the day but hey ho um, and then there's a clear part that goes into the nose again to do with the photo reconnaissance I would think and a, a couple of aerials and whatnot there and then we go on to the colour scheme because after that stage it's complete so colour scheme um, Royal Air Force Sharjah in the Trucial States um, forgive me but I don't know what Trucial States are and I'm sure somebody down there will put in the comments what that's all about 
is that to do with Egypt and that sort of thing? I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Um, so, uh, if you can tell me, would really appreciate it. And there's the colour scheme for the Ecuadorian version, which is one all over colour of silver. So, uh, which is well, that might be an interesting colour. I've not, I've not done a, a plane totally in silver. Um, whether that's silver or metal colour, I don't know. But yeah, um, and then on the reverse of the instruction booklet, common stencil details. There's hundreds of the little things. Um, I think that's a pretty cool kit. And given that it comes as part of the free membership, I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that might have to come up up the charts to be built at some point. Um, not yet, because I've got a couple of other things that I've got to build. But, as part of a free kit to join the Airfix Club, I think it's, it's quite cool. Um, even if the lid won't go back on the box. Come on, thank you. Right, so that's it. So that's what you get when you join the Airfix Club. Actually, I think it's quite cool. And uh, that's definitely a cool kit. Um, if the F8 version, which Airfix have got out for sale, is available, um, I might have a look at that actually do the F9 and the F8 but anyway um, I hope that was useful to you and uh, uh, you know we'll see what when I go build it I don't know yet so anyway thanks for watching if you've got this far and appreciate it um, please like and subscribe do the normal leave a comment down the bottom and uh, I'll see you on the next one take it easy bye for now